Kyle Polanyi has returned from virtual obscurity of uh, no, precisely because what we are seeing running across the whole Western world um, of a national so-called right-wing populism. I don't like particularly these terms, but what they are, they are nationalist reactions. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that um, the political base of those um, personalities and leaders that have come to the fore uh, are the losers. They are the losers of the globalized, increasingly globalized and financialized economy. Uh, we have, I think, new class divisions, which are as much cultural as they are class. They are both economic and social and cultural divisions in our societies between, uh, between those who benefit from or can manage uh, to deal with an increasingly global and digital economy and uh, those who for various reasons are the losers have been left behind. That includes, of course, the industrialized workers who, whose uh, jobs have been outsourced or have, uh, have, been, have uh, disappeared by um, information technology, software, etc. And who, who look back to better days of the past uh, who obviously uh, can uh, respond to the kind of uh, story that, you know, we have lost and things were better in the past. Polanyi tells us what he called the reality of society. It's in the last chapter of the Great Transformation. And by this phrase, he means more than the fact that we live in society and we don't have any choice. We are social creatures and we have no option but to live in a society it means more than that. It means that societies have agency now. Of course, not as a whole, but within societies, there are um, formations and groupings and peoples and classes, whatever you wish to call that, have agency. But because we are ultimately um, social creatures, we are not the individualized uh, creatures of the uh, Homo economicus uh, textbook model at all. We are social creatures. And Polanyi introduces the idea of a double movement that is defensive, that is protective, that is protection of society against being torn apart, let us say, by intensity of competition or of uh, mechanization happening too fast, et cetera, et cetera. These are reactions and conservative reactions. I think that we have to be concerned with the conservation, with conservation, yeah? conservation, first of all, of life on Earth, yes. of the plant life, the animal life, so the human life, of course. Um, and that implies, and there are more than that, I think of the variety of cultures, the, the languages, the cultures, the knowledge which is embodied in the cultures, so-called traditional culture. Uh, and that, I think, has become an essential to saving humanity, life on Earth, if you wish. So this word conservative, yeah, but I think it's quite important because when I say we need to conserve, first of all, it implies variety because the varieties of the species, of the cultures, of the languages, of the so. Secondly, it implies conservatism. Mm -hmm. right? And I, to my mind, that is important to understand 